channel so today I'm going to be reviewing the sensodyne toothpaste yeah so I've been using this toothpaste for a while now a while yeah but this is not the only toothpaste I use these are a kind of uh, um, how, how should I call it okay this is my my image it comes to toothpaste I use it all the time did I say all the time like I use it almost all the time but when this one is not available I manage Colgate yeah Colgate is probably not new on this channel because I've used Colgate for a lot of my videos but this is not the one I usually use though this is the why this is the whitening to Colgate toothpaste it has a whitening strips the ones I use on my channel doesn't have the whitening strip, so it is not a whitening toothpaste. I use sensory toothpaste most of the time because I have sensitive, sensitive teeth. Yeah, I have this sensitive teeth, and my teeth is um um. I I had a tooth surgery sometime in two thousand and eighteen. That is when I I started developing tooth ache because one of my teeth was faulty one of them was faulty so one of my tooth one of my molars um when it was growing it it grew with a hole with a big hole uh, on it like it was just growing around so it had this big hole that was always giving me issues whenever i eat food it gets stopped in there i always have to use to pick or sharp objects to like um you know trying to dig it out dig, Tick, tick, uh, all the meat particles to come out wherever I eat, whether it's bread, whatever, whatever I eat gets into that hole. Except I'm, I drink water, okay? It's only water that doesn't get to stay, but anything that is thicker than water gets to stay in that hole, and because of that, it um, develops some kind of gum disease. And um, yeah, in 2008. Now, uh, by then I was still in secondary school or high school, call it whatever you want. So um, I began to have this serious toothache. Guys, it was so serious. It's so painful, more painful than menstrual cramps. Yeah, it's as painful as that. It's so, so, toothache is so, 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 so painful. So I started having this um, toothache I was in the boarding school I was in the, in the hostel so I had to come back home sign up sign up the exam card went back home meet my dad my dad took me to the dentist and I got the tooth surgery and that tooth was that tooth was removed like it was it was painful it was painful though although um, they gave me this uh, Anastasia uh, in the injection um, but it was still painful. So since after that time, I rested for about um, a few years, maybe about three years. No pains, no stress. I went about my business. I now eat food and nothing gets stuck anywhere because there was no hole anywhere. So it was that place it was just like that. I was enjoying life. And then um, after about um, three years, yeah, another one came. So I had uh, another pains. Some kind of pains, and then I discovered sensitive, sensitive. So whenever I feel this pain, this ache, on my teeth, although not as serious as the one that made me to have tooth surgery, this one is nothing compared to the one that made me to have a tooth surgery. This one is just like, um, let me say five percent to ten percent, but it's very uncomfortable. And um, you like when I begin to feel the pains, I won't be able to chew my meat, I won't be able to do things. So, yeah, I just had to like look for a solution, a solution, a lasting solution. So, um, I discovered Sensodyne. And by the way, I want you to know that this video is not sponsored by Sensodyne or any other to first. This video is not sponsored, I'm just um, telling you or giving you my honest review about this toothpaste because i've been using it for a while now it has been a tooth saver like a, a teeth saver it saved my teeth yeah so that's why i i just want to make a review and by the way this one is already empty it's a, this is the empty one i finished it i finished it and then um, this is the first time i'm actually using this type of sensory because the one i use is the one that is usually in a tube like this although like this so when i got to the to the drugstore, I I saw 
I was looking for the gentle whitening because I normally use gentle whitening. So I saw the gentle whitening I carried too because it's so small. What is inside that toothpaste is so small and in two weeks, three weeks, everything will be gone. So I, I, I usually buy two at a time. Then when I was about leaving, my eyes caught this one. I was like, oh yeah, what's that? I've never seen a, a sense of being like, like this. I usually see it in Colgate. So I decided to check and it was both daily care and gentle whitening. You know in the tip form it has this daily care, it has a tip whitening and then it has other brands that are hot or peppery, peppery, hot. Yeah, so I decided to go for this one because this one is, um, is mild and yeah this one is not hot like the one my dad uses. So I decided to go for this one and yeah. It's been good. It's been good. It's um, although I can't really see any difference. I did not notice any difference in the toothpaste. It's just like the normal sensodyne I've been using. And anytime I use this sensodyne toothpaste, I don't have to worry about tooth pain, tooth ache, um, or whatever. I don't have to bother. I don't have to bother about bleeding gum or whatsoever. But whenever I stop using the sensodyne toothpaste and then I go into another toothpaste for like a month after a few weeks to a month I begin to develop pains like begin to feel pains oh my god I begin to feel pains I don't know if any of you have this type of experience that I'm telling you now I don't know if any of you has ever experienced anything like this but since this one is gone nothing is inside I've been um, making use of the Colgate call get to the best for now and uh, I'll soon go get myself another sense of it to the best because I can't afford to bear the pains or the consequences of not using a sense of it to the best so this um, toothpaste is actually for sensitive teeth if you have the sensitive 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 teeth oh my god it's a, a 247 care when you make use of it it's going to help protect your teeth and what I noticed is that whenever I use the sensitive toothpaste I usually have this um what is it called like um, whitish stuff all over my mouth I'll just have to be like removing strips and strips of it every time that is one thing I hate about sensitive toothpaste the whitish stuff like when you you just brush like you ate and then you step out and maybe you're talking to someone or you're in a public and the next thing you are doing is like like all the whitey stuff why why should I have to come why 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 all the whitey stuff anyways well this toothpaste is a it's a tape saver I like it although I would like um the whitening stuff or the the the, the clay substance it's not it's not really white it's just like clay like a clay stuff, like you know, just strip it out and phew, you throw it away. So, whenever I stop making use of this toothpaste, um, I think I've said that before, I, I will develop this, I'll begin to have these pains on my teeth and all that. So, I'll just have to run to my lifesaver, which is a sense of being toothpaste sensitive to pressed yeah so and um i when i visited the dentist last year i realized that i still have one of my multi which is um here it um is it the incisor or the canine it's still here and uh, i did not know that the teeth did not go off because normally all the multi is supposed to pull off and then it's be replaced with um, the permanent teeth. but that didn't happen for one of my teeth so it's still hanging up there and the permanent teeth is there trying to come out but the mold teeth refused to go away so it is still there and sometimes it causes the pain sometimes it is swollen and all that so i have to go i have to go and do an x-ray although i've not done an x-ray yet maybe because i'm not feeling any pains yet or whatsoever but um i'll have to do an x-ray very soon so that I will know what to do, whether to remove the multis or to just um, allow it to be there. Because the dentist advised I carry out an x-ray on my teeth first before they know if I should pull it off or I should leave it there. 
So guys, that was um, just it about the toothpaste, the Saturday toothpaste. If you have any question, you have any problem, any challenges with your toothpaste, yeah, and you want to um, to ask me some question, to ask me in the comment section below, and I'll be there to answer all your questions. And if you would like me to do more videos like this, reviewing some of the products I've used and how it's been helpful, the ones I like, the ones I don't like, and all that. Do let me know also in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to subscribe the red subscribe button is right below this video so do tap click on that subscribe button and then tap on that notification bell just click on it so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever i share new videos on this channel that's because i always want you to be here i always want you to be here when i share new videos and also don't forget to share this video with your friends if you want them to see yeah, you should want to, you shouldn't be stingy with content. So do share it with your friends, okay? And then I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!